So you want to change a color in your video. Maybe you want to change the color of the sky or maybe the color of these leaves or maybe just the color of these post-its. Whatever it is in this video, I'm going to show you three simple ways of doing this. And the first way is actually not in the color workspace. It's an effect called the change the color effects. I've actually used this effect in a recent Instagram video where I changed the color of my shirt because I wasn't happy with the color of my shirt. So we're going to take a clip from the intro and we're going to apply the same effect and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So let's go to effects. And if you don't see it, then go to windows up here and make sure that effects is checked and then search for the change to color effect. Let's click, hold and drag it to the clip that we want to apply the effect to. And if we go to the effect controls panel, you can see that the effect has appeared right here. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to select the current color. So use the eyedropper tool right here and then pick your color. All right, now that our current color is selected, what we're going to do is we're going to have to select our new color. And we do that by clicking on the square right here. And now this window will pop up and here we we can pick any color that we want. As you can see, other parts of our video have been affected too, and this is because of the green colors of the tree outside. This is why it's very important to pay attention to the colors of your video when you're doing this. There is an easy way to see what is affected and what isn't, and that is this option right here that says View Correction Matte. Now when we turn this on, it turns into black and white and everything that is white is affected by our selection. To clean this up and to make sure that only the color of the sticky nodes is changed, we're going to create a mask. So let's click on the pen tool right here and create a mask around our sticky nodes. Now if we uncheck the view correction mat, as you can see, nothing else is affected anymore, just the sticky notes. Now this mask was really rough, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller and a little bit more accurate. The only tricky thing about creating a mask is that we'll have to animate it so it actually follows our hand. Because if we play through it now, you can see that the mask isn't moving as our hand is moving. So in order to animate it, we're going to click on the stopwatch right in front of mask path. As you can see, the first keyframe is already created as soon as we click on the stopwatch. So now we're just going to move through the video and we're going to change the position and change the shape of the mask. All right, now we can choose how we want the color to be changed. And in this case, I want to change the hue and the saturation so we get this hot pink. And if you want, you can go down to the tolerance settings right here and fine tune your selection. And if you want to animate it like I did in my Instagram video, what we need to do is we need to click on the stopwatch right here in front of the two color and then move this keyframe to the end since this is our end color. And then we're going to create a new keyframe by using the eyedropper tool and clicking on the square from the from color. And as we play through this, we can see that the color is gradually introduced. Now, if you want to change it to multiple colors, we can do this with keyframing as well. Now, feel free to go as wild and creative as you want. You can add multiple keyframes, multiple colors, do your thing but let's for now just go to the second method and this one is actually in the color workspace if you don't want to open up the color workspace you can go again to window and then click right here on the metry color and as you can see the panel appears right here so you can make all of your changes here but I personally am more comfortable in the color workspace so I'm just going to open it up there but it works the exact same way so another great way of changing the colors is using the hue versus hue curve in the curve section now if you've ever looked at this and you were like I have no idea what's going on and what this all means I've been there I totally get it that is why I made a video where I explain the entire color workspace and all the settings so if you want you can go and check that out after this video but in this case I'll obviously explain how to use the hue versus hue curve and trust me when I say that it's actually a lot easier than it looks so for this example I'm going to use a different clip and I'm actually going to use a clip that I also used in my a6600 review where I changed the colors from spring to autumn yes that was all fake I just changed the colors because I couldn't stand I couldn't stand the green it didn't fit the vibe of the video so I had to change it and I'm going to show you how I did that now before we change anything hue versus hue basically means color versus color so if we take a look at this line right here we can see that it represents all of the colors now in this case we want to change the greens and turn them orangey so in order to do that we need to create some points on this line to isolate the greens and now as soon as we drag the line in between those points up or down we can see that there is another line a vertical line with all of the colors again on this line we can easily pick our desired color so basically we can also look at this like we looked at the other effect the from color is the horizontal line and the to color is the vertical line so in this case we want orange so what we're going to do is we're going to drag the line up to orange and as you can see now the greens have turned into orange but as you can see it doesn't look great yet because it includes multiple shades of green so we're going to have to make a few more points and drag those all to the orange area I mean
it's that easy. Now, before we move on to the next method, which is also my favorite way of changing colors, if you're enjoying the tutorial so far, I would really appreciate it if you take a moment to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, you are the GOAT. And you probably already know what's gonna come next. Now, if you're familiar with any of my color grading tutorials, you know how much I love the HSL secondary tab. This feature is my favorite color grading feature of all time. It is great for isolating colors. It is great for enhancing skin tones. And today it is great for changing colors. In order to change a color, we first have to select it. And we can do this by using the eyedropper tool and then picking the color from our video. Or what we can also do is we can pick any of these colors right here. Now, the best way to use the HSL secondary is to check this color gray box right after we've picked our color. Because now we can see what is selected and what isn't. So to clean up our selection, we can use these three sliders right here. The first one stands for hue, the second one stands for saturation, and the third one stands for brightness. But between you and me, I don't actually look at that. I just around with the sliders until my selection looks good. So now that we've properly selected our color, there's one more thing that I always do, and that is adding some denoise and blur. The blur, for example, it softens the edges between the selected color and the rest of the video, which makes the change way more smooth and way less artificial. So I always recommend doing that. All right, so now that that is done, it is time to actually change the color. And we can change the color by using the color wheel right here and then clicking on it and dragging the plus sign to whatever color. And the slider right next to it represents the brightness of the color. So if you want, you can make it brighter or darker. And if you want to get more specific, you can change the colors of the three circles right here. You can change the color for the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. If you want to learn how to fully transform a video in one click using the HSL secondary tool, then I highly recommend to click on the video that popped up on the screen right here. And of course, make sure that you hit subscribe and the notification bell so you won't miss new videos and so we can see each other in the next video. But until then, go and watch this one.